All right, welcome to my channel. So the first thing that you need to know before you start watching my videos is the purpose of this channel is for education and entertainment, mostly education with some entertainment and uh, mostly for my students really. It's, a, it's an opportunity for me to showcase my algorithm and for my students to, to see it working and me to be able to talk about the trades and why I'm taking the trades and things like that. This is not a channel where I'll be showing you that I'm making millions of dollars. So family rules, you won't be seeing that. Some traders out there want to put their stuff out. I don't even know why they do that. Like, And social media in a public sphere, hey, look at me. I made 20000 today, 50000 today, you know, all that stuff. That will not happen on this channel. The most you'll see me making here is anywhere from 50 bucks to 1000 bucks in a day would be the most once we get to that level of scaling. And then I'll reset and we'll be looking at 50 bucks, and we'll be scaling back to, you know, 1000 a, a day or so. Um, and we'll just keep resetting that scaling. But family rules will not be showing you on this, uh, my social media, that I'm making tons of money. Second thing is I'm trading with Thinkorswim. That's my platform that you see here on the screen. So you got my two windows um, on futures trading. Same thing. It'll be Thinkorswim. Um, so you'll see that I trade futures and the equities market with these videos. I trade based off of my algorithm, the simple switch algorithm. And it's got different settings. Same algo, but different settings for futures market for equities market and different types of uh, trading. It's got different settings for it. So I'll be trading off of that. Links below if you're interested in learning more about the algo. All the education over there is free, um, as well as the trading log that you'll see. You can get the link below, which will give you that log. Um, so you can um, go over there and explore all that stuff. So when you're looking at my screen, okay, and when you're looking at my screen, you'll see these uh, the chart markups and you'll see yellow. Wherever I put yellow is an entry. So when it's yellow like this, it's the algo um, ideal entry and then you may see a yellow like this and that is where I actually got in and it'll be touching the candle that I got in on and then the location. Red are my stops, green are my targets. And then if you want to learn how the algo works so you can better understand what I'm doing when I'm doing my trades over at the link below. You can go over there and learn all about the algo. It's completely free for that whole education. It's free from, to learn about my trading plan, my strategy, everything that I teach about trading is free over there. Only thing that costs money is if you decided to buy the algo, then that would cost money. But you can apply a lot of the stuff that I teach over there, including my strategy and trading plan, to your own strategies and uh, and help maybe improve your game. So all that is definitely free. I don't charge for any of that education, uh, only the algo if that's something you decided to uh, add to your list. So then sometimes you'll see on here my, me doing experiments, um, which I'm going to try to do another one later on this year when I get a little more time. Um, but I love to do trading experiments. We blow up accounts, um, but we do it uh, in the purpose of education, showing you that certain trading techniques or strategies sometimes uh, just don't work. And uh, we, we play with some different concepts and uh, blow up accounts, real accounts, small accounts, but still real accounts. And you'll also see some small accounts as well. Like we do offshore brokers and things like that. So, and then uh, of course, educational videos I'll be putting out as well. So there's a lot of different content here. So if you can give me the like, hit, hit the like button, that would help me a lot with the YouTube. And uh, if you subscribe and hit that bell icon, you can be notified whenever I upload uh, new content. And the last thing, but probably the most important thing is, trading is very risky. Do not place a trade based on what you see here or whatever I say. I'm not telling you what to do. Um, if it sounds like I'm telling you what to do, it's me just thinking out loud. And, you know, most traders will lose all of their money. I am strictly speculating. I do not have a crystal ball. So, you know, I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that. So please do not take financial advice from me. This is uh, strictly to talk about how I trade, to teach about how I do things and for your entertainment. All right. So now the legal stuff is out of the way. Let's get into today's trades. All right, good morning, everybody. It's uh, August 20th. So here we are with JD. So we had our switch to the long side. We're switching back with a glitch, though, which I normally don't trade. But this permission indicator is really extended at 2021. 20, normally, it'll get to like 8 or 9 before it um, starts to give up and the, and the ticker gives up. Um, so at 20, it's more than double. So I'm tempted to go ahead and take this trade um, to the short side here. So right now we are looking at uh, 65, 20, 60 for about uh, roughly 71 cents. So I'm going to go over to the calculator and uh, put 71 cents in for JD. 
So 704 shares is risking 500. I don't want to risk 500 on this because of the glitch. Um, I'll go with 200. Let's go with $200 risk reward. So it'll be a light, a light trade. Enter. All right, cool. So we're queued up in JD. We'll see if we get a, a switch on it. See, now if this switched here, it would have been great. But now if this has to switch way down here and we're about to give up the whole day after such a big run up, I don't know that that's going to happen. So I probably will avoid the switch at that point or uh, avoid the trade and uh, because of the glitch, right? I'll be looking for a long trade. So there's a couple different things that could happen here. We'll see when it sets up and we'll, uh, we'll talk about it when we get there. All right, everybody. Hopefully we make some money. All right, so we are in on JD. So double checking real quick, sixty four ninety nine. Yeah, so we're about 70, 70 cents. Uh, same. So we just went in light with the two hundred dollar risk reward on JD. We've had so many winners. We do have that uh, glitch pre market. So sometimes it's all right, but you know it's just it lowers the probability of success. So with the and with all these winners and lowered probability of success. I went uh, went light on the shares on this one, preserve a little capital, but we do have a really extended permission breaking down, so this uh, this could be a winner for us. We'll see how it goes, um, but if it does turn into a speed bump, it'll probably be a really nice speed bump, although the question is, is it just going to draw an end pattern and break down later? JD's been on a downslide in its daily chart, so um, it's kind of hard to tell, so I probably won't speed bump up this. I'll probably just take it as a loss unless it unless it satisfies the switch right like so yeah if this is all green we get a couple yeah i'll speed bump it i'll definitely speed bump it but we'll see we'll see how this goes all right so we're coming into our 1r area here so i'm going to go ahead and move my stop to break even um, even though it's pretty far below our um our, our algo entry i'm going to move my stop to there we got uh, two spent cents spread on it so we got in at uh, 24, so we'll move it to 20. So there you go. All right, cool. So we're going to go ahead and uh, leave our stop there. And then did we get a 24? We did get a 24. Oh, fix this. Close enough. There we go. All right, cool. So I'm going to hang out here for JD. I'm going to wait for... Um, 2R or for red candle to, uh, or sorry, green candle to close above red candle, I think is what I'm going to do with JD on this one. So we're going to see if we can uh, squeeze a little more out. Yes, I wish I would have traded full size on this thing. I would have got a $500 winner right here. But uh, with this uh, glitch pre-market, uh, you know, I wasn't really sure what was going to happen here. The only thing that gave me some confidence was this uh, way overextended permission. Um, and we do still do got a really big uh, candle here that we could retrace 50%, which we've already done. So I'm not sure what will happen here. Maybe I should just take this off. Um, I don't know. We'll hang out a little bit and uh, see see what develops. All right, everybody. So here we are um, clearly running into a resistance area. And our permission indicator down here, if I was trading this with uh, the normal setup that requires permission, is starting to curl up. If I end up with one of these, these uh, dashes above... The other dash i'm just going to go ahead and pop out of this trade we hit the target um got the expected move i'm just being greedy right now looking for a 2r on it um and uh, i'm going to stop being greedy if this bar closes above or we get some um some uh, different candle action here we do have a green candle close above this red candle a little bit probably should have stopped out right in this area here but um i'm still in this trade so i'm going to go ahead and hang out because jd loves to get those two r's this uh, this feels like there's still got some more downside to go to me, um, so I'm trying to be patient with it um, based on what's happening with this uh, indicator here. But uh, if this uh, dash does go back above one of these other dashes, then I'll have to uh, look at exiting. All right, you can see down here the bars are even now, so. We'll see. Uh, this one looks like it may want to close above. So barely, barely, barely. But if this one closes here, then uh, then we'll be popping out. And we'll just take whatever we get, you know, 100 bucks, or whatever. may actually um, put my stop in just above this area right here. Let's do that. So clearly we're in a little channel right here. If it breaks out of the channel, we'll just take whatever it is it gives us, 100 bucks, something like that, and uh, make a little money. And uh, when I wasn't really going to trade it anyway, so... It's not really a great setup, so we traded it anyway, but we may trade this switch back because I normally don't trade the glitch. So if this switches again, we may uh, pop back in for a new trade. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this, uh, this next one closes. 
All right, so we got close above right here. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten my stop now. Um, right there. So we'll give it a little room because we do have some resistance here. But if it breaks, we'll be out. And again, you know, maybe we'll keep $100 of that. But uh, at the same time, I'll give it a chance for this to uh, further break down. All right, so we're breaking down. We got our 1R right here, pretty much. I'm um, just popping through there with 63.55. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move this down uh, real tight here. If we get out, we get out. Um, this There's definitely a lot of um, support right here, and it, it could be definitely changing direction. So, all right, cool. So we're out with 163 on the day. So there we go with JD. Yes, I wish I did a $500 deal on it, but with this uh, glitch as our switch, um, the probability goes way down. So but I wanted to take the trade, make some content, and uh, we're able to still make a little bit of money. All right, everybody. Have an awesome day. We'll go check out the log, and then uh, we'll uh, see you next week. Okay, so here we are in the log, the day trading log. So you can see down here, JD, short, um, you know, we did 58 cents per share on it. The risk and the goal was 67 cents per share. But, um, you know, we got out a little bit uh, after it hit the target, you know, and it pulled back. So it is what it is. We'll take it. Um, and then up here, you can look and see August. So far, we've done $1,355 for um, August. Um, we did have some losers early on, but for the week, if you look over here, we are now in week uh, 33 in this area right here. So we have uh, $1,423 for this week. So pretty nice, uh, pretty nice week that we're putting down here in um, in uh, August, week 33. So come over to dashboard, and here we are for the month. We're looking at $1,188 uh, actually for the month, August. Oh, that's why. Because uh, so this um, just for those of you who are new, um, this calendar incorporates uh, swing trades, future trades, all the other stuff as well, not just day trades. So with the portfolio overall portfolio, we are at eleven hundred and eighty-eight dollars for the month so far in August, and we got a week left. So we'll see if we can uh, get this to around two thousand dollars for the month. And we're just scaling up. We're slowly scaling up. So let's go look at that scaling ladder. So right here, 500. So we still got, you know, ways to go. We did, you know, add a little extra money to it, but we got some ways to go. And then, uh, you know, we'll four more trades roughly, and then we'll be in the thousand dollar range. So thousand dollars per trade, traders. One ticker trading. You know, I don't have to use scanners. I don't have to get up early to research the market. I don't have to stay up late and figuring out what happened. Like, I just show up, turn on the computer. One ticker already loaded in. See what it's doing. Algo tells me what's up. And then I make my trade and I'm done right now. It's 1230. So we had a little bit of a long day today, but most days, uh, you know, it can be done a little before that 1130 sometimes 1030 sometimes. So uh, pretty not a bad deal. Get up and work for if you call it work, you know, for uh, for a few hours and make 500 bucks or a thousand bucks or even 160 bucks today. And again, my results are not typical traders. Um, if you try to copy me, you can lose all of your money and blow up your account. Risking is extreme or risking <laughs> trading is very risky. So, um, yeah, very, very risky. So it's not for everybody. Um, just know that uh, I highly recommend you trade in a sim for a very long time. Uh, you know, make a trading plan, uh, plan your trade, trade your plan in the sim six months, um, three months, whatever, whatever it takes, you know, a year, um, whatever's right for you before you ever even think about real money. And then when you do go to real money, tr maybe just go with a real small amount because, uh, you might be surprised with the platform you're using. When you get to real money, you might learn a few things that could be expensive if you're trading with a lot of money and then never have, well, I would never have more money in my account than I need to trade with because uh, every penny that's in my account is exposed. If I make a mistake, I forget to close out an order, whatever it might be, that whole account is exposed. If I'm going to wipe out my account because I screwed up and kept something overnight, then better to wipe out a small amount than all the money I've made in the last five years, right? So um, I definitely don't want to keep uh, all my money in my account if I'm not trading with it. So anyway, food for thought. Everybody, we'll see you on Monday.